Noble Review, Macroeconomics and Microeconomics. For use with introductory college macro and micro courses, as well as the AP macro and micro exams. Today we're going to go over inflation. The inflation rate measures the percentage increase in consumer prices over a period of time. To calculate the inflation rate, we use a consumer price index or CPI. The consumer price index tracks the prices of goods and services that the typical household buys using a market basket sample. The CPI is equal to the market basket of one year divided by the market basket of a base year. To get the inflation rate, we take the new CPI, we subtract the old CPI, we divide by the old CPI, and then we multiply it by 100 to make it a percentage. Prices generally rise over time, but sometimes prices will fall. Deflation occurs when the inflation rate becomes negative. Be careful not to confuse this concept with disinflation. Disinflation is when the rate of inflation slows down. Sometimes inflation is caused by buyers. That's demand pull inflation. That's caused by an increase in aggregate demand. That means that buyers are pulling up the general price level of goods and services within an economy. So the dollar has less purchasing power. There's also cost push inflation. That's caused by a decrease in short run aggregate supply. This means that an increase in production costs or resource prices have caused an increase in the general price level. Cost push inflation is less desirable than demand demand pull inflation because cost push inflation is accompanied by a decrease in output and an increase in unemployment. When inflation and unemployment increase at the same time, the economy experiences stagflation. How miserable is that? Your voice, like, makes me miserable, okay? When inflation occurs unexpectedly, some people will benefit and some people will not benefit. People that make fixed payments, such as debtors, gain from sudden inflation because they pay off debt with cheaper dollars. Assume that these debtors borrowed at a fixed interest rate. The purchasing power of the loan's money the principal has decreased. People that receive fixed payments, such as creditors, who lend at a fixed interest rate, lose from sudden inflation because they are receiving cheaper dollars. Therefore, people that earn fixed income will not benefit from unanticipated inflation. The central bank can battle high inflation by selling bonds on the open market because that'll raise interest rates and reduce consumption and investment spending, which brings down aggregate demands in the short run and therefore the price level. A fiscal policy that might be appropriate would be for the government to cut spending or increase taxes because that too will reduce aggregate demand and bring down the price level. Well, that wraps up this noble economic review lesson. Head on over to mrmedico.info for a ton of free study resources. ASAP. Till next time. See ya.